So, hey guys, Wicked Spliff here, and I have a pretty uh, serious topic here. Well, not so serious, not like uh, puppies and fire is serious or anything like that, but uh, does PS4, PlayStation 4 have DRM? No, they do not, but actually, uh, I've done extensive research, and I mean, like, for the past two days, I've been watching videos over the PS4. Xbox One, all that stuff, because I'm trying to figure out which one I want to buy first. Um, so, apparently, PS4 had RM, but weren't planning on going fully digital, therefore their DMR was a disc-based tag. What I mean by disc-based tag is it's, um, it will be like either a little barcode or a little chip that basically monitors how many times that disc has been installed therefore limiting the amount of times that this can be traded and installed between other people other consoles and other accounts another thing is is the DRM was supposed to link that disk with that tag to the account in the console but uh... basically going on to the terms of service that was released on the PS4 you must it says here on seven on 7 resale fireworks going off in the background awesome 7.1 you must not resell either disk based software or software downloads unless expressively authorized by us and if the publisher is another company additionally by the publisher which is uh, you guys may be wondering what is disk based software well basically disk based software is basically a disk with anything like a game uh, DVDs stuff like that, anything like that that is basically you put into the disk port and play and uh, basically software downloads or DLCs and stuff like that or mm, movies you download off the web onto your console whatever the hell they're gonna do the questions we should be asking is why is this in their terms of service and no one else's like if you look around this is not in Microsoft's or Nintendo's terms of service there's nothing about that so that's one question we should ask and another one is, does this mean if they wanted, they could force DRM on us in the future? Well, yes, if you accepted the terms of service, then yes, they can force this on you in the future. Not saying they will force this on you in the future, that's just basically what could happen. And uh, going back to a statement by that was Microsoft and Sony's statement, is that any publisher or developer that wants DRMs on their game, like you know how they had Uplay and stuff like that, and that's not really a, DM, a DRM, but it stops people from accessing the multiplayer without purchasing a pass on their own, is uh, basically uh, if a publisher or developer wants to put DRM in, then they can put DRM in, and that makes it so that uh, you cannot resell or base resell or give away the game without authorization of the company Sony. Microsoft, etc. Which is, I can see that happening in the future. There's nothing, like, on another point, there's nothing actually wrong with DRM. It's actually a really good thing, and people are blind and ignorant. But I am one of those people who likes to go down to the store when I'm sick of my 20 games that I don't touch in my drawer. I like to go and take those games in and trade them for a disc copy, you know, have them all showcased out on the shelves and everything. That's that's the type of person I am, so I'm kind of against DRM, but at the same time, it's a good thing. Uh, the, now, the thing that bugs me is, um, while everybody was going and bat, like, everybody was batting an eye and going against Microsoft and saying how bad of a company they are and everything, uh, Sony basically was there with their um, zipping their lips closed because they were planning on doing the exact same thing now. Another thing is, is the reason why I'm thinking they might put DRM into a so like into Sony's products and stuff like that in the next couple of years or so is uh, if they wanted to force DRM they could force DRM on us just because it's in the terms of service and agreements. So it really is kind of a, uh, you gotta, you gotta question this here. It's, what are they planning on doing for the future? And if they aren't planning on doing this, then there's, this is basically a rant that has nothing to do with it. But it's a question that everybody should be asking is, why do they have this in their terms of service agreement saying it's a legal thing used for legal issues by legal people?
so that's lawyers and stuff like that so if they wanted to push DRM on us in the future I'm not saying us as in me because I don't know if I'm getting a so like a PlayStation or not I might I might not most likely I'm getting Xbox just because of my subscription and everything I'm not an Xbox fanboy you guys actually know anything about me I'm actually I came from PS2 I got sick of um, my PS2 is dying over a year or two so I figured I could go I could go over to the Xbox 360 and try for this generation and then the next generation if I wanted to I could go back to Sony which is uh, sometimes like the games on Sony are pretty good but that's not that's not what we're here about uh, so on the uh, Microsoft versus Sony thing can Microsoft force DRM no they cannot because they don't mention it in their policies but this is subject to change so if they wanted to change their apologies to implement DRM they could so if Microsoft releases another um, uh, like terms of agreement that you have to accept read over the entire exception to make sure they haven't implemented anything that do we do not want in our games so now on to another point if they like this is kind of a good thing if they have a disk based DRM if a, a, if a disk becomes too damaged or destroyed or something like that it won't be uh, going on to the used game markets and being sold to people who are trying to get a cheap game but end up getting ripped off with this scratched up and damaged disc so the good thing about disc based DRM is it basically what it would do like I'm not really knowledgeable about this or anything but basically what it would do is it would basically after a certain amount of times it's been authorized on another account or another console basically it could render it useless which means that uh, it will make a better circulation and it will get rid of all these copies of games that are out there that are basically useless and destroyed and can't be played that's one good thing about a disc based DRM and really I would I would kinda prefer to go DRM just because it's digital so there's no um no more damage disc, no more getting ripped off, like I said before. Uh, basically, it's a good thing in ways you could, uh, like, Valve, for instance, uh, not Valve, uh, what is it? I forgot what it's called, Stream, I think it is, that you use for the computer, the thing for the computer, it's brilliant. You get games on there, you get discounts, like, the discounts that we get on Xbox Live, uh, PlayStation Nation, would like, wouldn't be like will never be as good as what they have on st Steam and stuff like that. There we go, Steam. Uh basically if we had DRMs we could get better deals like fifty percent off deals, we could seventy five percent off deals. Um our accounts if we have long term services like uh, how they have like if our if our accounts have been active for a long time we've been supporting the community like that, they could give us special deals. Just like how they have Xbox Live rewards and stuff like that. Where basically they give you Microsoft points for the amount of um, credits you earn up from like gamer score and stuff like that. It's the pretty much the good thing about DRMs, anything like that, going fully digital, anything like that. And in a couple of years from now, I could see it going for like see the consoles going fully digital just because it's more efficient, it costs less money, and um, you don't have to get anything shipped to your door if you're pre-ordering or anything like that. You can buy it day one there won't be any like uh, limited amount of copies when you want to buy a game there won't be anything like that uh, so next video I guess I'll be talking about uh, the Xbox one in the cloud and what it could do it could do amazing things we'll talk about that in the next video but uh, if you like I want to hear what what you think like this is kind of controversial because I'm putting myself out there and saying these things that I can't confirm like Obviously, you can go look it up on the internet. You, if I find the links and descriptions from the videos and stuff I'll be watching that shows all this stuff, then I'll put it in the description. But other than that, uh, this, these are not my actual words. I'm actually taking quotes and reading up on the internet from other people and stuff like that. So solely I'm not responsible for the things I've said, even though I am seeing as I said it. Uh, basically... Let me know what you guys think. Do you think they will be? And obviously, they might. But I want to know if you think they will be, and what are your reasons if they if you think they don't? Like, if you think they won't put this in. Um, we could spliff and have a nice day.